Cradled in the arms of distraught mothers, photographs of missing Iraqi men and boys. Their families say they vanished from Nineveh province as pro-government forces hunted down ISIL fighters and their supporters. The security forces have taken two of my sons for interrogation after liberating us from ISIL. We keep calling on the government for help, but it seems there is no hope. In 2014, ISIL swept across the western provinces of Nineveh and Anbar. Some Sunnis opposed to the country's Shia-dominated government are said to have been fighting alongside ISIL or simply giving it support. Iraqi troops fought back, aided by armed groups, many of them Shia, who backed the government. ISIL fighters were either killed or detained. Some accused of supporting ISIL have vanished. Their families are demanding answers. We keep asking if my sons were forced to sign and confess to something they did not do. If they are dead, we want to bury them. If they are alive, we need to see them. Human Rights Watch says it knows of at least 78 cases where men and boys have been what it calls forcibly disappeared. International law defines enforced detention as the arrest of a person by the state or with the knowledge of the state, followed by a refusal to acknowledge the arrest or a refusal to say where the person is. But it also says the state has a responsibility to investigate allegations of enforced detention and to prosecute those responsible. Some of those detained have been released. Others, like here in Ambar province, have come home in coffins. Oh my God, I can't speak anymore. The security forces told us my sons would be released in days. Now it has been three years. I call on the speaker, the prime minister, the government to find where my sons are. The government in Anbar says it set up a committee to investigate, but that it's proving hard to find all the missing men. So far we have not been able to locate them. The central government is still investigating these cases. We at the local government want this solved. These women say it's bad enough to have lost someone. It's even worse not knowing if they're alive or dead. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.